Hello, my name is Brother Andrew and I belong to the Congregation of the Sacred Heart, Fathers and Brothers of Bethram. We were founded by a French Basque priest named Michael Garakoitz at the shrine of Lady of Bethram in the south of France, just a few miles from the shrine of Lourdes. I entered religious life on the 14th of September 1992 and I made my first vows in July 1994 and my lifelong vows and profession in July 1999, all taking place at the Friary Alton in Solihull. The charism of my congregation is based around the teaching of St. Michael and what he spoke about as being the Echivenio or the Here I Am of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Jesus said yes to the invitation from his Father to come amongst us to share our life. So at the very centre of the charism of the Sacred Heart, fathers and brothers, is the Echivenio or the Here I Am of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We share this gift of availability, the here I am, the send me. But we sometimes, I sometimes find myself saying, here I am Lord, please send somebody else. The ministry of our congregation here in the Vicariate of England is mainly centered around the life of parishes. So all our communities are based within parishes and we have the pastoral care of these parishes and all that that involves. We also have religious who are school chaplains. Some are involved in spiritual guidance and given retreats. I'm also the vocation guide for my a congregation here in England. And I'm recording these few words in the Catholic College of John Henry Newman where I'm the school chaplain. And it's a true joy to be a school chaplain, to share in the life of this school community with our young people and our staff. The journey of vocation involved discernment and there are many congregations and traditions within religious life. And often people feel called to the monastic life or the apostolic life and the very, very different vocations. My call was to be an active religious. But I remember speaking to a monk at Mount St. Bernard's Abbey on one of the retreats I spent there. And he said to me, I hope you've really enjoyed your retreat. And I had. But I said I couldn't really live this monastic enclosed life. And the monk gently smiled and said, yes, and I couldn't do what you do either. Speaking about vocation and calling, how did I first find the congregation I belong to? Simply in the Catholic press. I saw an advert speaking about the congregation and I contacted Father Dominic, who at the time was our vocation guide. And he guided and supported me through that initial sense of thinking about vocation and calling and speaking about the congregation I now belong to. I then visited the friary in Alton and I felt so much at home. I felt welcomed and valued. And in time, after thought and prayer, a lot of thought, a lot of prayer, I entered religious life. And I remember at the time also the support of my family and friends. They were a huge support in that journey and they have been ever since and of course they still are. I was asked to share finally a word of advice for somebody thinking about vocation and British life. Last year, I celebrated the jubilee of my profession, 25 years of religious life. And I can honestly say I've been so, so happy in 
my vocation and in all I've been asked to do, what would my advice be? Simply to go for it, to think about discernment, think about prayer, speak to somebody who might support you in that vocation journey. And then as I did, maybe, um, as it were, shop around and find a congregation that you feel you can be part of. Ask advice, seek advice, but above all, as, Saint, as Pope Francis often said, do not be afraid. But the final words come from Saint Michael, the founder of my congregation. Ecce venio, here I am, Lord, please do send me. <laughs>